The next module we're going to talk about is the PCA module, model 8120. PCA stands for Patient Controlled Analgesia. This is usually used in like post-op patients to control the post-op pain. It is a syringe-based delivery. You access to load by a key. And when you uh, attach the PCA to the 8015, it must be on the right side of the brain. This is a safety feature so that when you have to have the key when you are opening the door to load your syringe and you notice a latch here. This is how you remove the module and attach the module so that a patient wouldn't just be able to depress the button and walk out with the actual PCA medications. Typical medications we see, morphine, Dilaudid, um, fentanyl, and those are all part of the guardrails library, one library with safety software around those medications as well. The dose request button is what the patient will use if they're having some breakthrough pain. Let's say they are on a continuous med and they're able to press a bolus like every 10 minutes or so. This is the button that they will use to give themselves an extra delivery of medication. So what I have attached on this side is the Alaris Model 8300 Entitle CO2 module. The CO2 module, when used with the PCA, provides an extra layer of safety should the patient's respiratory rates get dangerously low. When the rates drop below the programmed settings in the Entitle module, the pump will actually alarm, the PCA medications will stop infusing, and the button that the patient's used to pushing will stop working as well. That way the nurse can come in, assess the patient, and take whatever actions needed to get that patient breathing much better and much more efficiently. The Entitle module also can be used as a standalone Entitle monitoring device. For instance, if you are doing an endoscopic procedure and you want to monitor the patient's CO2 levels and you don't have it in a monitor in the room, this is a great tool to monitor any of those types of conscious sedation procedures or even in the ER if you're doing a procedure there. This is a great standalone Entitle monitoring module as well. So I've only tied up two modules. It does have the capability of having four. So this can be a multi-modality device, meaning I'm able to do PCA, I'm able to monitor my patient while on PCA, and I also could have two large volume pump modules for my continuous infusions and maybe IV fluids. So you can see that it's multiple modalities of delivery on a single platform.